Wow. We did a weird awkward phase with my hair. Like a red tail. I don't know. Okay, hi. Welcome to my channel. Um, I've been getting a lot of traction on my hair videos lately, so I just wanted to show appreciation for watching, subscribing. My channel is double. Like, I had like 50 something. And now I have like, do I have 100 yet? I think I have 99. Let me check real quick. I have 100 subscribers. Look at it. You can't see. I got a honey. A honey. A hundred of you guys like me so much that you subscribed. Wow. We did it. We did it, Joe. That's crazy. And like some of you guys might be like a hundred. I already have that or whatever. I don't care. Okay. That feels like a milestone for me. Okay. Don't hate on me. But living my life and being happy for the little things in it. So mind your business. Anyways. But I just want to say thank you. Um, I have more hair videos coming up. I plan on doing a Bantu Not Out. I'm not sure if I should do it with the gel and see how that turns out. Um, and I'm talking about the gel that I've been using, the um, Kinky Curly um, Curling Souffle gel. Um, or I should I use the Deuce Foam, which I've had like 5 out of 10 marks for that one. Um, but I think it would do really good for Bantu Not Out. So let me know which one you would like to see because this is an interactive channel. But if you have any suggestions for like hair products I should try or what's been working for you and stuff like that, leave it in the comments because I read them and I will put a heart next to it because that shows that I read it and um, yeah, I'm down to try different stuff. I'm trying to figure out things with my hair because I feel like I'm going through another weird awkward phase with my hair. Um, but this like little detox has helped a lot and it's almost, has it been 30 days yet? I think it has been 30 days, but let me make sure with my video content. But I just want to say thanks for watching and liking and subscribing and, and engaging me in conversation and telling me about your journey with your hair. Because guys, if I would have showed you how my journey started off, like six years ago it was tragic like literally i came to high school in my junior year one day just walked into the band hall because i was in band at the time and that was my first block um and my hair was just gone and everyone's like tyra because like they knew me for having straight like shoulder length to like bra length um permed hair and so i came to school and my hair was this short and it was curly like this and they were like um excuse me and so i went from then to and like using only canty products to now like using like only gels and foams for my hair so it's like it's a big difference my natural hair um uh journey has been very turbulent but i have enjoyed it every step of the way um it's been very awkward i experimented with hair dye for a little bit um i cut my hair often <laughs> i have bangs sometimes i grow it out sometimes i have a little lock this looks it looks a little janky it's budding in some places um but yeah i have a lock i've had this for like several months now so it's like fully locked basically um if you want more questions on that i'll let you know um, it's kind of like a red tail. I don't know. It just reminds me of childhood. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, that's satisfying my inner child. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more things like about fashion, let me know. Let me know. I love fashion. I love clothes. I love trying to be more sustainable, even though being sus more sustainable and ethical with how you consume clothes can be more on the pricey side if you're not going if you don't have access accessibility to like thrift stores and stuff like that that have like clothes that you would typically wear or want to like maybe upcycle and stuff like that um 
But yeah, if you want to have a conversation on that, if you want to have a conversation on veganism and how I live my life, with my diet, let me know. Um, my food videos don't do as well, but I, guys, I'm telling you, I really enjoy doing the like vlog style videos instead of, you know, just sitting down in front of a camera and talking to you guys. I really enjoy like going around town and stuff like that, going on my walks with my sister and stuff like that and like cooking because I enjoy cooking. And if you need any recipes or anything, let me know. I'm going to make lasagna either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm kind of tired and it's getting a little late. But um, I be cooking, y'all. Like I made um, falafel sandwiches the other day with some pita bread. And like I like tzatziki and hummus together. Um, very good. But yeah, also I made like big CD ones. Like I cook, y'all. I cook. I cook. So if you want, if you want any of that, I'm, I'm, I'm your girl. Um, what else do I like doing? I'm not very good at drawing. If you saw my last um, thumbnail of my video about my experience working for Disney, um, the little Lizzie McGuire, but it's like me, cause she black and she got hair kind of like me. Um, I drew that, but I sketched it off of another one, so. My art skills are limited. I'm not gonna hold you, but I can write. Also, check out my website, Elnora's Parish. It's like, Elnora is like my great, great, great aunt. Yeah, my great, 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 great aunt. She came from Mississippi, blah, blah, blah. Family lineage stuff. Um, but really, it's just like a space for um, BIPOC individuals, specifically black people, because, you know, I'm black, so I can only really speak for black people. But if you're interested in um, contributing to my website, because it is like kind of like blog style, um, publication kind of thing, but I will be taking features, um, any subscriptions, um, I mean, not subscriptions, submissions. If you have anything you want to talk about, it's really about like radical self care and like honoring yourself. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out the website. It will be in the description, elnorisparish.com. Um, I originally had a forum on there, but, um, I decided to make that private, um, just until I get more traction on the website, because I only started the website, oh my god, it's almost been a year, oh my god, it's crazy. Um, but I, I'm the founder of that, so if you're interested in looking at that, reading some of my articles, I try to write... An article once a week but sometimes that doesn't happen so because I'm making content on here guys I'm a content creator that's crazy like I didn't I've never liked to like claim titles and stuff um because I just feel it's weird and I have a severe problem with um what's the phrase uh imposter syndrome I have a severe case of that very much so that um and I've really been kind of like breaking through that kind of tiff in my life and like claiming that hey I'm this I'm that and the other and I'm all that in a bag of chips and that's why I'm worth your time see confidence we like that um but yeah what else um but yeah let me know what you want to see from me because really um I just make content because I like interacting with people I'm a people person for the most part but not all the time. I'm a little bit of an introvert. I'm an I'm an ex I'm an introverted extrovert, if that makes sense. Like I have introverted tendency, but introverted tendencies. But I am an extrovert. Um, if you're into Myers Briggs, I am a ENFJ. So yes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see from me. I've been talking for long enough. Um, I'm not going to edit this very much besides, like, you know, my regular intro and outro. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. But yeah, y'all be great. Y'all be awesome. Y'all be cool. Y'all be fine. And y'all be, I don't know, good. Um, anyways, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And that's saying a lot. Okay? Okay, bye.